give therapy a chance. Right. I just feel so totally like <laughs> right. Right. Um, do you feel that you have to make people laugh all the time? No. No, because in here, you don't need to hide behind anything. Good. I mean, it's going to be difficult for me with you looking like that. Sorry? Well, I can't make proper eye contact for a start. Oh, you mean you want me to take well, off my... yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's just that I can't see you very well now. I think it's good, looks really smart. It's not bad, is it? No, nope. that's a really classy letterhead. They've just sent it over for me to proofread. I'm not sure about the typeface I've chosen. Perhaps it's a bit swirly. I mean, can you make my name out clearly? Which is your name? Right. Kate, you've got a minute. Ooh, wow. Oh, nice suit. Oh, yeah, thanks. I just yeah, need to... Yeah, uh, OK. Tell me what I can look. <laughs> Look now. Yeah, that's why I don't get it. <laughs> Craig, what do you want? I just need to see you about something. OK, go ahead. No, sir, I can't. I'm busy. What? Well, I mean, I can't do now. I've got the, uh, the VAT inspector in downstairs. And... Oh, the VAT inspector. I see now. That's why the suits. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to look like someone who knows what he's doing. Can you think of anything? <laughs> no, I can't. No. No. So when can you see me? Actually, I need to speak to you alone. Oh dear. And for quite a long time. Oh God. I am actually quite booked up today. Oh. Mm, well, what about lunchtime? Lunchtime? Haven't I got lunch at lunchtime? <laughs> Nothing written here. Great. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a really bad feeling about this. It's my own fault. I should have done something about it ages ago. What do you mean? Oh, come on, Mel. You know what I mean. Oh, right. Oh, well, I think it's sweet. It's not sweet. He actually thinks we're going out together. I don't know where he thinks we've been, but I wasn't there. What do you think he wants to see you about? I don't know, but it's good, really. It'll force me to sit him down and put him straight. Oh, he's such a nice guy, though. He might just break down and cry. Well, that's tough. He's a grown man. Well, he's tall. <laughs> a taxable person is an individual, firm, company or other entity which is or is required to be registered for VAT. A person who no, makes no, no, taxable it, supplies... It's rubbish. Well, so I just find that all the words start running into each other. Yeah, well, that's what they want you to think. No, but I have to understand Put this. it down. No, but I need to... Shut up. Listen to me. Right. It's very straightforward. OK. Try to think of it in concrete terms. Right. OK. I'm a farmer. You're a farmer. OK. OK. We are both farmers. And I grow something and I give to you uh, some potatoes. Oh, right. And you pay me with something that you grow. Uh, a duck. <laughs> okay, a duck. But how VAT works is, as well as a duck, you have to give me an egg. Okay, an egg. But the egg doesn't belong to me. It's not my egg. But I gave it to you. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just looking after it for the government. You're looking after an egg for the government? Yes. Because when I go and buy a tractor from the guy who sells tractors, I have to pass the egg on to him. Right. And then, once a year, the government egg collector comes around, and if you are left holding any eggs, you have to give them to him. Right. You see? Yeah. I, so you had to give the tractor man the egg when you paid him with the duck? <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't pay him with the duck. I paid him with potatoes. <laughs> All right. What kind of tractor can I get for a duck? <laughs> so have you ever told him any of this? No, no, I couldn't do that. I'd be terrified. Right. Well, if your father was sitting in this chair right now, what would you like to say to him? OK, well, I'd say, um... Look, Dad, I'm 33, and every choice I make, everything I do, I'm thinking, 
what would you say about this? And, you know, I've had enough of it. Good. And so what would he say to that? Oh, well, he'd say... So, if you like, yeah. Yeah, he'd say, um... That's typical of you. You've never had any initiative of your own. And is that... No, I haven't finished. Sorry. It's not your fault. <laughs> you were mollycoddled by your mother. Um, but sooner or later, you're just going to have to grow up. It's tough, but there it is. Yeah. And, yes. of course, therapy. That's typical of you. Self-indulgent... I mean, I mean, how much an hour are you charging him for this? Um, sorry, how I much can't. are you charging? Forty pounds. <laughs> Forty pounds? Now you've got me here as well. <laughs> what am I doing here? I could be at home in the garden. In fact, I've had enough of this. Good luck to you, I'm off. <laughs> yeah, he's quite something. Oh, of course, you've gone. It's a letter head, can you fax it back to the printer? Okay. I've written some notes on it, telling him exactly what I want. Right. So we want Times New Roman. Yeah, because that's a really clear typeface. I should have gone with that one in the first place. Okay, because the original one was too swirly and totally... What's this word? It's illegible. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> it's illegible. Well, you wrote it. No, no, the word is illegible. <gasps> Can't you just remember it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's gone. <laughs> Looks like mangle. That's it, yes, mangle, thank you. <laughs> mangle? Yes, yeah, good. So, you got it now? Yes. Just concentrate on the egg. Right, yes. That's the VAT. Yeah, that's very good, thank you. So what happened to the duck? What? <laughs> what happened to the duck? What do you mean, what happened to it? Well, you know, I mean, where is it now, then? Well, this, uh, the duck is, uh, is around the back of the farmhouse. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Forget about the duck. No, but you said there's a the duck. You ain't it. <laughs> we had to. We ran it over with the tractor. It would have been a waste. Your sandwiches are ready. That's four pounds twenty. Oh, so hey, is there uh, is there VAT in that? There is in that one. What? How do you mean? That's the one with the egg in it. <laughs> well, it's not if I've encouraged him. No. Or led him on or anything. No. Who? Craig. But he's just invented this fantasy. Has he? What happens? I'm feeling guilty about finishing a relationship I'm not even in. I wish he wasn't such a nice guy. Kate? What? This letterhead. Yeah, I know. We're going to change it. Oh, good, because he is a bit... Yeah, it's a bit swirly, yeah. Well, I mean, I can't even make my name out. Where? Well, anywhere. No, that's right. Your name's not there. Oh, right. It's not there. Even on the back. Right. Good. How do I do this? I mean, what do women usually say when they really are finishing with a man? I'm sorry, I'm just so bored with you, I'd rather you left now. <laughs> Possibly. Hello. Hi, Craig. Hello. Uh, would you like to sit down? Yeah, thanks. Um, actually, no, I think I'd rather stand. Oh, OK. Yeah, do you want to sit down? No, I don't need to sit down. I mean, I don't want to sit down. Right, OK. Um, yeah. Kate, um, um, Craig, before we, we, you start... No, I haven't started yet. Yeah, no, but I, before you do, there's something I need no, to say No, before you start, no, I just want... What? I have started. Yeah, but before you no, start... No, I have started. I, You're too late. Right, sorry. No, I yeah, no, wait. I know you needed to see me about something. Yes. Yeah, but um, before does... you do, there's something I'd like to say to you first. Yeah, but before that... Yeah, Craig, I... there's no easy way of saying this. It's over between us. I wish there was a way we could let him know he's got friends that he needs. Yeah. Who are they? <laughs> oh, of course, yes. I... <laughs> Thanks. Can't stop. I've got the VAT inspector in downstairs. <laughs> He's in denial. Yeah, shock. Sad. <laughs> How'd it go? Has he gone? Yeah. He dumped me! <laughs> well done! Yeah, <laughs> I'm I know! I feel good! <laughs> Uh, no, no, he lives downstairs. No, I know that, but he's not there. Oh, he's got the VAT inspector in at the moment, so he's probably hiding so. I am the VAT inspector. <laughs> oh, uh, he was just on his way down to Excuse school. Excuse me, you are joking. That was a joke. No, I am a VAT inspector. Why? <laughs> no. Well, not Lisa. Are you? Well, I am called Lisa, yes. How did you do you tonight? 
each other. No, but can I just say how grateful I am that you arrived? Well, I came yesterday. Yes, yes, I, I know. And I just want to wish you good luck. Yeah. Well, actually, the more unusual a case is, the more interesting it can be. So, you know, I don't mind a few surprises. You are going to love this job. <laughs> what are you talking about? Actually, I'm the AT registered. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Graham. How are you? Fine, thanks. Fine, I'm fine. Because you know you're early. Yeah, am I? Yeah, I know it's traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm meant to be early, but um, I'm early. Yeah, perhaps I should go away again and do something. Uh, let's see, how much time have I got? Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. I could go home again. No, no, that'd be a nightmare. Never get back in time. Can I get you anything? No, I'll just stop. Coffee or tea? No, I'm fine, thanks. Yes. Oh, that looks nice. What is it? Mm. Oh, sorry. Mm. Mm. Okay, the cherry Danish. Right, uh, sorry. Uh, that's okay. You could get one if you like. Well, I don't know. It's just around the corner. Just wait here now. I don't want to be late. Okay. <laughs> Actually, how far is it? Uh, <laughs> not far at all. Maybe I will then. It's in the high street. Just around the corner. Opposite the bus stop. Right. Mm. What, what time's mine? You've uh, still got two hours. Right, thanks. Sorry. Anything. No. <laughs> because you don't deal in holidays as such. But when you deal exclusively with flights like you do, buying up cheap seats from the airline and selling them on to the public, it means you're dealing in fairly high unit costs. Right. Could I just ask you something, though? Yes. Right. <laughs> what? Um, if... How did you first get interested in doing this? Well, I was quite good at maths at school. Right, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> right, so while your VAT liability is relatively large, your actual profit is quite small. Really small, actually. Right. Yeah, we had a German teacher at my school. Yes. No, he actually was German, really. He, he was bald. <laughs> it was like a cushion. Kate Salinger, Kate Salinger, Kate Salinger. Oh, yes, very nice. Ms. K.M. Salinger, Ms. Kate Salinger, Kate Salinger. Kate Salinger, right, good. It's not very nice when you see the finished product, isn't it? Yeah. This typeface is really smart. Yeah. Don't you think? I still don't think her name's big enough. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Oh, they've arrived, have they? Yeah. Oh, these have come out well. Oh, yeah. Business cards. Yeah, they could have been for free. Oh, I've never had a business card before. <laughs> Kate Salinger, give me a call sometime, either at work or at home. All right. Actually, don't call me at home. Okay. Or at work. No. Actually, give me back. Yeah. Oh, these all for me? Yes, I've taken all mine. Okay. <laughs> I always think if you're any good at what you do, you don't need business cards. Yeah. Shall I get Mel to order you some, then? Craig's getting on with Lisa. Oh, I'm sure he's doing fine. I just wanted to say that, see what it felt like. It is rubbish. Oh, well, I think it's great. I think she's a really lucky woman. I'm the lucky woman. Thank God for Lisa. It's a weight off my shoulders, I can tell you. I mean, normally, he'd have been in here several times by now. As it is, we can look forward to a whole morning of... Hiya. Hi, Craig. How are you? Oh, you know, still a hollow shell, but looking forward to the moment I can move on and find a reason for living. Good. How are you? Yeah, fine, thanks. How's it going with Michelle Pfeiffer? Oh, <laughs> you mean Lisa? Yeah, yeah. It's good, actually, yeah. It's um, not going very well, really. Why not? I, just, I don't know what to say to her. I just don't know what to say to her. I don't know what to say to her. I don't know what to say to her. Yeah, right. I mean, what should I say to her? But, Craig, just be yourself. Oh. No, actually, don't do that. That's <laughs> 
too beautiful. No, she is. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, shut up, Douglas. Right. Well, look, why don't you just say something nice about the way she looks? What, out loud? <laughs> yeah, the line I always use is, uh, so there is a God and he is kind. <laughs> Has that ever actually worked? Once. She was stunning, as it happens. Norwegian. She didn't speak English. No, I could have said anything. I don't know what to say to her. Have you tried food? No, I can't eat. I'm too tense. <laughs> no, have you tried talking about food? Talking about it? It never failed. But you say to her, what's your favourite food? And she says, pizza. And you say, pizza? That's amazing. That's my favourite food. And you're in. Really? Yeah. All right. Right. <laughs> Yes, can I help you? I haven't got very much time. What's really quick? Russian salad. What? Russian salad. Rush. It's a joke. Oh, no, sorry. I haven't got time for a joke. Oh, well, it's all quick. Sandwiches. Ham. Cheese. Cheese and ham. Ham and cheese. Cheese salad. Ham salad. Cheese and ham or ham? We haven't actually got any cheese. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't got time for a sandwich now. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, can I just uh, interrupt you for a minute? Yes. Thanks. Um, Do you ever uh, go out to eat? Well, sometimes, yes. Yeah, me too. It's good, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yeah, so, uh, what's your favourite food? My favourite food? Yeah. Sushi. What? <laughs> sushi. You know, raw fish. <laughs> but apart from time, though, I mean, is it just time that you worry about, or are there other things, too? Oh, no, I worry about lots of things. That's one of the main things I worry about. What time? No worrying. Oh, right. OK. Um, so when you say that you worry about lots of things... Down, excuse me. Yep. Yeah, hi, Craig. Well, I'm in the middle of a... S well, I, OK, if you're quick. Right. Oh, dear. Craig, Craig, have you tried films? Films? Well, everyone goes to see films, so you're on pretty safe territory. Yeah. Craig, I'm putting the phone down now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, yes, um, when you say that you worry about lots of things, um, can you give me some examples? How many? Well, three. <laughs> OK. I worry about being knocked down crossing the road. Right. Crossing... The road? I worry about leaving the gas on and my house exploding. Good. House exploding? I worry about all my pubic hair falling out. <laughs> right. OK. Let's just look at these three. OK. Right. Crossing the road. Have you ever actually been knocked down by a car? Yes. You yeah. have? Oh, well, it was a bus, actually. <laughs> right. Uh, good. A uh, house exploding. Has your house ever actually exploded? <laughs> yes, it has. It has? Yes. What? Actually exploded? Yes, I left the gas on. <laughs> right. Want a cup of coffee? I made you a cup of tea. Another one? Yes, and uh, this is my favourite mug. Thanks. Yeah. So, Miss Moneypenny, the only thing that separates us from the rest of the world is that locked door. What's that? It's James Bond. Yeah, do, you, do you like films? Yes. Me too. What sort of films do you like? Well, lots of films. 
I suppose I prefer European cinema, mostly. Yeah. I find American movies just really sort of... Too commercial. Yeah, yeah crap. <laughs> so what's your favourite film? Well, any Bergman film, really. Yeah. But I suppose if I had to choose just one, my favourite would be The Seventh Seal. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. How do they train those seals? <laughs> she just stared at me like I'm some sort of idiot. Really, did she? Oh, I don't know, maybe seals are really easy to train. No, no, it's a mistake anyone could make. Yeah. Right, good. So. Sorry, I can't. Oh. I'm on soup. I've got to go back and fill this up again. Oh, great. So, I mean, I just don't know what else to do. You know, why did I ever think this was even possible? Everything was perfect until I met her. And it wasn't really. She's just out of my league. No, she isn't. I can't do it. Yes, you can. You must. I should just give up. Right, good. I feel so empty inside. Me too. <laughs> you know the thing that always does it for me? What? Well, you know when you've been going out with someone over a long period of time and you get to the point where you're back at their place one day looking through a drawer of old photos and you see a picture of them as a baby? Yes. As a baby? But that is good. I just melt. Really? Yeah. I know it sounds silly. No, no, no. No, it's brilliant. Oh. Well, you must have one somewhere. No, I don't, but uh, I could get one. Um, yeah. Can I say something? What? Are you going to order a bloody sandwich? <laughs> no, I just came in here because you did. I can't think about food at the moment. Hmm. Douglas Cameron. Very nice. Nice big letters. Yeah. Solid, too. Yeah, and they only cost me a fiver. Great. You don't need any of this fancy typeface stuff. I mean, I don't know what Kate forked out for hers. I don't want to know. I don't care. What did she pay for them? <laughs> what, what are you... Um, no, nothing, no, it's lovely. Is there something... Um, how many O's are there in Cameron? <laughs> mm. You hardly notice. Douglas Cameroon. Stupid machine. Hi. Hi. What's that? Nothing. Douglas had a business card printed. Yeah, can I, um... Hello, no, can I have that? <laughs> Just a rough <laughs> mock-up sort of thing. <laughs> How did you get printed? 300. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the stupid Olympics, this is the moment where they'd be playing your national anthem. <laughs> Mr. Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? It's all over. Oh, no, 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 no. She's thrown me out. Oh, dear, that's terrible. So, wait a minute. How could she throw you out? You live there. No, that can happen. <laughs> don't even talk to me. Why? I don't know. I did everything that you suggested. You mean the baby photo? Yes, and it didn't go down well. Really? Oh, well, perhaps she just doesn't like babies. Some women don't. I'm into a lot of trouble to get this. Yeah, Craig, can, we, can I climb? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Christ. What? <laughs> yeah, look, Craig, when we said a photograph of you as a baby... I know. I had to go out and buy a Polaroid camera and everything, all for nothing. <laughs> right. Oh, hello. Hi. Mr Chapman's not here at the moment. No, I know. It's you I need to see. Me? Yes. I owe you an apology. The photograph? It was my idea. I made him do it. What? It was all part of a scheme to put you off him. Look, I... The truth is, Lisa, I couldn't bear to see another woman claim the prize I have lived so long in hope for. <laughs> oh. I really don't want to get into... No, let me finish. You're a woman. You know what it's like. There are so few good men out there. I mean, okay, yes. It's not unusual to meet a man who's, who's exciting or rich or good-looking. But when you meet a guy who's got all three... But he's an idiot. <laughs> yes, but he's so much more than that. The point is, yes, there's a part of me that hates you. But there's also a part of me that recognises you're just a very lucky woman. Don't throw it away. I could never live with myself if... Look, please, please, just go out with him, please. <laughs> it's so much to ask. What is the problem? I'll pay you. 
I know that I'm behaving oddly. But what you're looking at is the behavior of a man in love. No, let me finish. I love you. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me, and if I ever let you slip through my fingers, I would never forget myself. <laughs> never forgive myself. We'll be expecting your check for the revised amount by the end of October. Right. And I would suggest that you invoice people for VAT at the same time as you bill them. It's more efficient. Right. And it, have you thought about what I said? Yes, I have. This is one of the oddest experiences I've ever had, and I'm afraid I never want to speak to you again. Right. Thank you. She dumped you? Yeah. No. Yeah. Can I come in a minute? Well, I'm... Thanks. Oh. Um, can I ask you something? What? Oh, I don't know where to start. How could I have ever been so stupid? Well, you, I don't know, I give up. You know, when I walked out on you, I turned my back on the only woman I've ever really loved. Craig. I, I threw away a perfectly good relationship, all for a, a woman I met just two days ago, just because she was young and attractive. Thanks. I know how much I must have hurt you. Can you ever forgive me? No. You can't? No, I can't. It's madness, Craig. After all that we've been through, the highs and lows, we've been to hell and back again. We haven't even been to the cinema. <laughs> didn't turn up. I can't live with the intensity. It's an emotional roller coaster. You're just too exciting for me. Am I? All right. But I can't risk being hurt by you again. Right. Right. We can still be friends. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, no, I'm fine, yeah. You're not going to do anything silly, are you? Like what? Like <laughs> throw yourself off a bridge or something. No, no. I can't swim. <laughs> and the new series of Kiss Me Cake continues next week at the same time. More comedy still to come tonight on BBC One, taking in the art of seduction as only Tony and Gary know how. Men Behaving Badly is after the news.